Today we will be learning how to multiply a fraction by a whole number. Our objective today is we will be able to multiply a fraction by a whole number by decomposing fractions. We're going to begin with multiplying a whole number by a unit fraction. We learned early on in the school year that a whole number can be de decomposed into different fractions. So the unit, the unit fraction that we're going to use today is one fourth. So let me go ahead and put that here. I'm just going to do a little review of what we learned at the beginning of the school year. Our whole is of our fourths. So we can partition this tape diagram to represent four fourths. So each section represents one fourth of our whole. And when we add them together, we get four fourths, which is the same as one whole. So that's a little review of what we learned in, on in the school year. So what we're going to do is take this concept and use it to extend our understanding of multiplying a whole number times a fraction. So, for example, if I shade in all of my fourths, I can say that I have four times one fourth, which would give me four fourths. This gives us an understanding that the four, the one fourth is repeating four times. And when we talk about multiplication, we know that this means of. So four groups of one fourth. So we have one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. So we know that when fractions or when, when we're multiplying whole numbers, we know that um, when whole numbers repeat, we can multiply. And it's the same concept with um, multiplying a unit fraction times a whole number or a whole number by a unit fraction. So that's the understanding that we know that when they are repeating, it can be multiplied. So now we're going to move on to multiplying a fraction times a whole number. So we're going to work with three, let me get my pen, three times three fourths. And that's our um, equation. So we have a whole number. So each one of these, these tape diagrams represent one whole. So we have three of them. And because we're multiplying, we know that we can interpret this equation as three groups of three fourths. So what we have to do is go ahead and to partition each tape diagram into our unit. And the unit that we're working with are fourths. So that's not half. So let me go, I'm going to start at the halfway point because we have fourths. And then I'm going to partition each half into a half. So now we have our unit fractions, which is our fourths. Then we're going to shade in three fourths and rep it for each whole. So I'm going to shade each one 
to show three fourths. And I'm going to label them. So this is one fourth, one fourth. One fourth, one fourth. In the previous um, slide, we saw that we could add up unit fractions. However, we have several one fourths, and it would not be effective to add these up. And plus, we learned in fifth grade that we multiply in fifth grade, and we don't use repeated addition because it's not an efficient way to solve the problem. So we have three groups of three-fourths. And to connect it to multiplication, we're going to write a fraction sentence. So I'm going to, this is three-fourths, three-fourths, and three-fourths. So I'm going to write it here in a fraction sentence. So early in the school year, we learned that we do not add the denominators because these are fractions. And the whole is four-fourths. And the unit that we work are working with are fourths. So the denominator stays the same. So we're going to add our numerator. 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. Or we could say 3 times 3 equals 9 because we know that any time a number repeats it can be multiplied. So 3 times 3 fourths equals 9 fourths. Now we know that this is an improper fraction and improper fractions can be changed or converted to mixed numbers. So to show this in our model, I'm going to circle, let me do that a little better. I'm going to circle all the four fourths in here. So that's four fourths. There's one. Here's another four fourths. That's two. And then we have one fourth left over. So we know that nine fourths is a fraction that is greater than one. So we have two and one fourth. So three times three fourths is nine fourths or two and one fourth. So after you all have viewed this video, um, I want you all to get into your groups and use the tape diagrams to practice multiplying a whole number times a unit fraction with, by decomposing the fractions using tape diagrams.